Good morning everyone, today I want to share with you one camera effect that you have to try to push your creativity and get awesome shots. Ready? Let's go! Alright guys, welcome to a new episode. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today is super special because I don't know about you, maybe you can let me know it has happened to you. When you see a photo and you get super inspired and you think, oh shit, I want to do the exact same thing. I want to try to take the same effect and apply it for an image I have, an idea, all that. Well, this is exactly what happened and this is what we're going to be doing right now, today. So guys, the concept is actually very interesting. It's a long exposure on a moving object and it creates those like awesome, uh, I don't know, sucking light moving effects that I, I don't know how to describe it. So I'm showing you a picture right now of a few examples. And I thought the other day when I was walking in Paris, I saw this tunnel. I'm like, what if we did the same in a tunnel in Paris? But the difference is that we're not gonna be on the car or any like fast moving object. We're gonna be walking or we're gonna be on the walking platform. And that's gonna be the trick. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to shoot that but I really, really want to try it. It's gonna be great also for you guys because you're gonna learn how you can get those kinds of effects and if you apply it on the train, bus, car, whatever, it's gonna look fantastic. I don't know if mine's gonna look fantastic, but let's try. And as I mentioned, second part of that episode will be about editing this shot. So let's get down deeper inside Paris. All right guys, we're getting close to the first tunnel and that is the first tunnel. There is another one. I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna shoot it. I wanted to introduce you. You might have seen already <laughs> Gabby. I don't know. Gabby is here. She's just helping me out to, to get some shots. But the trick is, since I'm gonna be on the moving platform and it's gonna be a long exposure, maybe I'm gonna try five seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. Well, I really need to be super stable. So for that, I'm gonna try to shoot it with a gimbal while holding it. I have no clue how it's gonna look, so I'm gonna try on that quick shot over there, and then I'm gonna try on the next one. So, yeah, I, I don't know, guys. It's a totally adventure. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, we've got the camera on the gimbal. Now we're gonna go try so as I mentioned, the concept is gonna be to do long exposure with that. Hopefully it's gonna stabilize enough. Obviously I'm not gonna put the tripod in the middle of the people. Let's see, let's, let's try it that one. And then the real shot I wanna get is actually in another tunnel. So in terms of settings, I'm gonna try to go down to five seconds to start with. We're gonna shoot at five seconds and I'm gonna be shooting at F9 and ISO 100. So. Let's go try it. Everything's dialed in. Let's go. Super difficult. Clearly, uh, it moves a lot because even with the gimbal, there are a lot of movement. Five seconds is very long. We do get some effects, so here is a raw image of what we're getting. But uh, I think I need to get more stabilized. Maybe you guys have some ideas. The problem is that it's on the moving platform where you're actually uh, standing or walking. So it's totally different than being on a train that goes super fast. You could do that effect over one second almost or two seconds. But here it's a bit different. We're gonna try on the next, the real, uh, how do you call that? The real tunnel that I really like with a bunch of colors. See how it looks, but maybe it's gonna be a failed video. tunnel and this is the interesting part first of all the color changes as you're moving towards the tunnel so we're gonna just count it first see if I can get the shot I want
Well guys, this was literally one of the hardest photo I've ever taken. I have to tell you, Gabby has been amazing because we were trying to do a bunch of different things. First, I started shooting at five seconds. Then I went down to 2.5 seconds. Then I went down to one second and then a little bit lower because I was trying to get the stuff sharp. Everything's moving. So you're moving on the platform, the, the rail is moving so you can't even lean on the rail. You can't put a tripod on the floor because you're blocking everyone. And then on top of that, the light is changing. So you have to lock your uh, white balance, obviously. And also, well, it is super tricky because you have zero control. And I was using the gimbal and the gimbal actually moves a little. So although it like absorbs a lot of movement, it's still very difficult. So what I did is I would put a timer like five seconds and then I would use the gimbal. It made it a little bit better. But guys, whew, super difficult. Now, Gabby, what do you think of the result so far? It was so, so nice. It's nice, but I think it's because we see it on a small screen. And I think maybe on the computer, it's gonna be super blurry and shaky. But uh, what I was telling them is if, they, if you do that, but on the train, for example, on the train, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it actually was stable. shaking a lot. And a lot of the people in the light was changing. So yeah. it was so hard to do that. Super hard. And it was Gabby's first time shooting video. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was so nervous. I didn't so, know what to do. So nervous. She's been a photographer for 15 years, shoots amazing portraits, but video is a totally different thing. So. Thank you. Wow. wow. Let's look at the pictures. Let's give you a little bit of rawness to what it looks like. guys well those are the raw images so far now I want to know what you guys think or simply uh, did you expect that kind of result because I'm super super curious also if you've got suggestions to get the model even sharper while doing the long exposure please let me know in the comments now as I mentioned in the next episode we're gonna be editing those images together we're gonna go from that raw image to that edited image hopefully you guys will enjoy that episode because I want to really dig into what makes a difference between a nice image and a great image. And I think it's all in the fine tuning. So I really want to show you how I use the fine tuning and Lightroom and all that uh, to really emphasize, to really make your images stronger, tell better stories, all that. And also I hope you really enjoyed that episode because to me this is really what I'm trying to tell you at the end of every video when I'm talking about get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. This is what I'm talking about. I had that idea. I didn't know if it would work or not, but I took a friend with me. We went out, we tried it, and that is the beauty behind photography. You try stuff, sometimes it looks awesome, sometimes it doesn't. In that case, I'm personally, I'm very happy with the results. So if you don't like it, it's up to you, but personally, I'm happy. That's the most important after all. So big shout out to you, Gabby. Thank you so much for helping me. Guys, it was her first time turning her camera in video mode. So not too bad, I would say, not too bad. Go say hi and thanks to Gabby on Instagram at Gabby Alves Photography. Come drop me a DM at PLT Lambert. Share with me your best shot or your most creative, like something you tried, or if you see a cool effect when, while you're scrolling on Instagram, that you think, oh, Pierre should try that. Let me know, send it to me. I'd be super excited to go and try it out on the street. Now, with that being said, um, if you wanna see when I edit the photos, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't, that would be crazy. You're still watching. So hit the SUBS, the RUB button, ring the notification bell. It's gonna make you awesome dong. And, and, and guys, I will see you in the next episode. Get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. Oh yeah, bye.